So welcome back viewers, today we are at the uh, Harewood Drivers Club at the Hill Climb Circuit. Um, we've got quite a variety of cars here, it's uh, just a static meet, there's no motorsport on today. Um, as you can see behind me here we've got a uh, row of minis, there's lots of other vehicles here as well today though. So what we'll do shortly is um, we'll go for a bit of a wander around, there's still a lot of cars arriving, it's quite early on, um, but hopefully there should be lots to see here today. Well, I said there was a lot of variety here today, um, from a Mini to a Holden VXR8. Uh, GTS, we've got a 6.2 litre V8 in there, which is uh, not bad for a family saloon car. This one is actually badged a Holden as well. I know uh, most of the ones we saw here in the UK would have been the uh, Vauxhall badged variants. And from a Holden, we go to an Arbath. We've got a 595C uh, Turismo. A lovely interior on this car. We've got the standard shape of our seats, but we've got the uh, tan leather. Really, really suits the car well. Uh, something else caught my eye here is this um, Mark 1 VW Golf. Obviously, we've got the distressed look on here, but uh, and this deep splitter really makes for a unique looking vehicle. And we've got my friend Sam's uh, 595 Abarth. This one is a uh, comp, so we've got the 180 horsepower engine in this. You also get that um, nice uh, record Monza uh, quad exhaust system on these as well. So really nice sounding car. Uh, the comp also gets the say belt seats, which is a, quite a popular upgrade on some of the other Abarth variants. It's always nice to see an S2000. It's, it's hard to believe uh, how these cars are actually getting on now. This one badged a 2006, but uh, yeah, these cars have been with us for quite a while. We've got that crazy VTEC engine that revs to, I think, something like 8,000 RPM. Um, real uh, skyrocket of a vehicle. And obviously it's a Honda, so you've got that renowned Honda build quality. We've no shortage of mod minis here today, but one that's really caught my eye is this classic mini, this grey one. Uh, we've got a single uh, centre exhaust pipe on here. Well, it looks really cool. We've got um, the old centre uh, instrument cluster on this car as well and uh, what looks to be ground velour, cloth velour maybe, but uh, everybody loves an old mini. And uh, what size are these, 10 or 12 inch wheels, I can't quite make out but again really really nicely finished, love the little chrome bullet mirror as well on there. So like I said, a huge variety and we've got more cars still coming in, things like this uh, Vauxhall Nova behind us. So really get an eclectic mix, which we'll love to see. Um, to my left here, you see we've got a Mark V Golf GTI, quite heavily modified here with the front splitter. Uh, we've got this huge spoiler uh, on the back as well. And we've even got a Nürburgring sticker up there. And... Looks like someone's gone to a lot of effort with this one. We've got a uh, roll cage in there, uh, bucket seats, racing harnesses, so that one looks definitely ready for some track action. So not all the minis here have roofs either. We've got this convertible, and look at that crazy dashboard. We've got this uh, sort of black and yellow effect. I don't know whether that's been done after or it's um, from the factory. The, um, we've got a few mini branded accessories in there as well, and some union flag cushions. As amongst a few other things, it is actually starting to rain a little bit as well, so that roof might not be staying down very long. Of course, not all the cars here are modified or sports cars or convertibles. We've got estate cars, things like this Golf R. So you've got the practicality of an estate, but we've also got the performance as well. Um, other German badge cars here, we've got an Audi TT that's sat very low with a lot of camber on the back. And an RS3, which again looks to be quite heavily modified. We'll probably come back and have a, another look at those again later. Another car that's caught my eye that we've actually seen this car before when we did the um, drive out in the Yorkshire Dales with the Harewood Drivers Club. I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one, so stick around to the end and make sure you take a watch of that as well. Um, we had a, a nice drive out in the Yorkshire Dales, it's a really good day out. So we've got a uh, Toyota Supra, it's actually an automatic as well this one. But uh, yeah, when I spoke to the owner it, it, um, previously, it sounds like it's actually quite a competent GT car. I know it's not what everyone thinks of these cars as being, but um, yeah, he seemed to really, really like it. Now, there's something I've never seen before, we've got a VW Passat Estate, but this one an R36, don't think I've ever seen one. Most of the ones you get are just um, 
TDI engines usually. So it's still quite subtle and understated. Obviously, we've got the chrome uh, plinth at the front, the larger wheels, a little bit of body styling, but again, still looks quite understated. We've still got the uh, chrome trim around the windows. Uh, around the back, we've got a twin exhaust system, but other than that, there really isn't much to set this apart from any other Passat estate, but uh, nice looking car. So we've got an a Audi A5 S-Line next to a uh, Seat um, Leon uh, Cupra. So again, all sorts of cars here and still a lot more coming. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, change the camera angle around now. We'll have a bit of a walk around and look at some of the other cars that have uh, come in while we've been walking around. Here we have got a 1993 Vauxhall Nova. Um, what, I don't know if it started out as an SRI or whether it were a, a more standard spec car possibly um, obviously we've got the uh, spoiler on top and the uh, three spoke steering wheel as you can see this one's sat quite low and we've got some uh, rather larger wheels on there as well now um, when i've got a look in the back of here we've actually got this cylinder in the back um, which i presume must be some sort of air ride system um, probably hasn't escaped your attention we've got a lot of uh, tartan in here as well but these quite nice recaro seats in here um, instrument cluster looks fairly basic no red counter or anything so that leads me to believe it may have started out as uh, one of the lesser spec cars but uh, certainly very very far from standard now So another car that's caught my eye today is this Skoda Octavia Estate VRS. Um, I actually had a VRS a few years ago. Uh, mine was also a Mark III, but mine was a pre-facelift, so mainly these headlamps are a bit different, the slightly restyled grille, um, tail lights as well, but overall, near enough the same car. Uh, this one has had the, uh, the black um, styling pack on. At least this was a, an option when I had mine. I don't know if it was standard at this time or not. Um, I think this one is, yeah, this one's got the cloth interior as well. I actually spec mine up with quite a few extras, so I had uh, the leather seats and the Canton audio system, um, privacy glass and a few other things. Uh, but a great family car, um, quite punchy. Mine was a diesel engine, I'm not sure whether this is the uh, diesel or the TSI, but uh, quite a heavy car though, I must admit it, uh, it did have a bit of pull, but it always did feel quite, quite a weighty vehicle. So as we move around into the courtyard area, it's not quite as busy here today as it was um, last time I was here, which must be over two years ago now, but still quite a lot to see. We've had a uh, Mitsubishi Evo 5 here in the courtyard, which was uh, great to see here today. Um, a mini uh, Cooper uh, Clubman 
uh, Cooper S, I believe, actually. Um, we've also had a Mercedes in there, and this uh, Nissan uh, R35, I believe, GTR, and it's a Nismo version as well. Um, so, quite a lot of car to see. The uh, as you would expect the brakes on the are absolutely enormous we've got these uh, big gold calipers with these uh, grooved discs on there as well the um, exhaust pipes again massive massive exhaust pipes with this uh, sort of oil slick finish on there really sets the car off quite well against the uh, the black paint of the vehicle so we'll move on inside because there's actually a few vehicles inside that we can see as well so we've got this uh, jaguar s type in here and yet another mini but this time it's the uh, mini gp number 425 to be more precise um really really nice finish on this car i do love this uh, silver and gray contrasting effect on this roof as well and probably again will come as no surprise we've got yet another gr yaris and an abarth so pretty much these days the uh, almost like a holy trinity of small hot hatches but uh, some of the most iconic current hot hatches today i would say um behind the, the back as well looking actually quite discreet in uh, present company is this bmw m2 tucked away here at the back um, really nice gray paint on this car as well but some uh, little subtle features like the uh, blue paint on the uh, brake calipers uh, these gills here uh, but other than that uh, really really understated car but uh, nice place up here but lots of uh, motorsport themed artwork as well so this lovely white um abarth 595 i think this might actually be one of the uh, admins of the group here um if you haven't already you may wish to take a look at their uh, facebook page the harewood uh, drivers club so we've got the monza exhaust on here uh what looks like a fairly standard abarth interior um it's also one of the uh, series four cars which we can tell by these tail lights and the uh, redesigned dashboard as well love the uh, white alloys on there i think they uh, really suit the car as well so that just about wraps up here today at the uh, harewood uh, drivers club meet at the hill climb um, i'm sure there'll be some more of these coming up again at some point so uh, i'll definitely be trying to get back again hopefully we'll get a few more vehicles it was a, a reasonably good turnout but hopefully we'll uh, we'll get a few more for next time uh, again i'll leave you a link uh, probably post that up here to the uh, last video from with this group which was the Yorkshire Dales drive out so do check that one out as well and if you haven't already please do consider subscribing because uh, there'll be a lot more content of this nature coming along in the very near future thank you and bye for now